Hi, I'm Andrew Duggan with Synaptics. In this video, we'll get started using the software which runs on the Astro Machina SL1600 series platform. The SL1600 series runs a Yocto Linux-based OS which provides a standard Linux-based runtime environment. Yocto provides the ability to create highly customized OS images and create toolchains to simplify cross-platform development allowing users to develop powerful applications that run on the edge. The Synaptics Astro platform also provides the Synap framework and toolkit. Synap provides powerful tools to optimize and quantize machine learning models so that they can run optimally on the SL1600 series hardware. And you can create custom OS images at the Synaptics Astro GitHub page. The main page includes links to documentation, pre-built releases, and the support portal in case you run into any problems. The Astro release page contains pre-built images for all the Astro Machina SL1600 series platforms. These pre-built images are all you need to get started with the latest Astro release without having to build an image. Simply click the link to download the image for your Astro Machina platform. Or if you want to build your own custom image, you can do that as well. You can add software packages, add custom drivers, and integrate support for sensors and peripherals. The Synaptics Astra GitHub contains source code for the Linux kernel, U-Boot bootloader, and other supporting software components. Let's start by building an image using the Yocto environment. Building a custom image is a resource-intensive process. We recommend using an x86-64 build environment with the following configuration. 16 cores, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and 150 gigabytes of disk storage. We recommend that the build environment be running Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and have Docker 20.10 or later installed using the standard Ubuntu package. Once the environment is set up and configured, you can then start the Synaptics Astra Docker container. The container contains all of the tools and libraries needed to build the image. From inside the Docker container, clone the Synaptics Astra source from GitHub. Change directories into the newly downloaded SDK directory and source the build environment. Select the target platform for the Astra Machina device you are building for. Sourcing the environment will create a new build directory. Inside the build directory is the local.conf file. Add your modifications to this file. In this example, we will add the Python 3 pip package to the image. Now we are ready to build the image. Run the bitbake astro media command to begin building the image. The total build time will depend on the configuration of the build environment and the number of packages being built. When complete, the newly generated image will be in this directory. Now we're going to flash an image onto the Astro Machina board. This can be one of the pre-built images from our GitHub page or an image you built yourself. Flashing images to Astro Machina is done using the USB 2.0 interface, and commands are input using the serial console. To set up the serial console, you will need a USB TTL adapter board or cable. The jumper wires connect to the UART pins on the 40-pin GPIO connector. The black cable connects to pin 6 labeled ground, the orange cable connected to pin 8 labeled TX, and the yellow cable connects to the pin 10 labeled RX. The color of the wires on your adapter may be different. Be sure to check with the manufacturer of your adapter to verify the pins. Some USB TTL adapters require installing a driver on Windows and Mac hosts. Please check with the adapter's manufacturer for instructions on downloading and installing the driver. Once you plug in the USB TTL adapter, you will see a new COM device under ports in the device manager. On Mac and Linux, you will see a new TTY device under slash dev. To access the serial console on your computer, you will need a terminal emulator app, such as TerraTerm, PuTTY, or Minicom. Open your terminal emulator app and configure the serial port settings. In this example, we are using PuTTY. On this system, the USB TTL board is enumerated as COM3. Set the BOD to 115200 and make sure data bits are set to 8 and the stop bits are set to 1. Parity should be none and flow control should be none. Open the session and you should now be able to interact with the serial console. 
Next, we will set up the tools which download the OS image to Astro Machina using the USB interface. The tools are available from the USB tool repository on the Synaptics Astra GitHub page. Download the tool package by clicking the green code button and select Download Zip from the dropdown. The downloaded zip file contains the Windows USB driver required to communicate with Astra Machina over USB on Windows platforms. There are also three platform-specific USB boot directories. These directories contain the USB boot tool and supporting files. On Windows, start by installing the Synaptics WinUSB driver. Double-click on the directory and then right-click on the Cine WinUSB setup information file. Select Install from the drop-down menu. A pop-up should appear saying that the driver has been successfully installed. Mac and Linux platforms do not require an additional driver. Next, we will run the USB boot app. Open the USB boot directory, which matches the platform for the Astro Machina platform, which you are updating. Inside the directory will be the images directory. This contains the images which will be sent to Astro Machina. Copy the image directory you wish to upload to Astro Machina into this directory. This will be the directory contained in the pre-built image zip file or the image directory created during the build process. Then double click on the run batch file. A terminal will open and you will see output from the tool. Now that the tool is running, connect Astro Machina to your computer using the USB 2.0 port. Next, enter USB boot mode. If the board is unplugged, then hold down the USB boot button and plug in the power cable. If the board is already powered on, then hold the USB boot button while pressing the reset button. Once the board successfully enters USB boot mode, you will see output in the USB boot tools terminal. You will also see the U-boot prompt in the serial console once Astro Machina has successfully booted from USB. From the U-boot prompt, enter the command L2EMMC, followed by the name of the image you are flashing to Astro Machina. Once the update is complete, the serial console will show the U-boot prompt. You can issue the reset command or push the reset button to boot the new image. Now, Astro Machina has booted using the new image and is ready to use. So that's how to get started with Astro Machina. Detailed documentation on everything we covered on this video can be found on GitHub. Get your hands on an Astro Machina board today, and remember to watch all our tutorial videos. Thanks for watching.